What's up guys, my name is Julian and today I'm going to be explaining one of the most common questions that I get on a daily basis, which is how do you come up with the production figures for my solar proposal? How, you know, like how do you come up with how many solar panels I need? I gave you my bill, but um, how did you come up with 21? So I'm going to kind of break that down and give everyone a little bit of an inside view of uh, the one of the softwares that I use and some of the different factors that I'm looking at uh, when designing your system. All right, let's get started. The first thing is that we have our sun traveling uh, over the course of uh, the year in different locations. So right now the sun is going in the most, it's the most Northern, uh, you know, high in the sky. And this is, uh, you know, like in the summertime when the sun is directly overhead, this is that time of day. Now I can come over here and change the month to kind of show what a more, um, winter month is going to look like. So this is going to be more like winter solstice time. And you can see the sun is much, much lower uh, in the sky. And so when we run the simulations, what the system is doing is actually running a 365 day simulation with the sun in every little location that it could be in here. I'll change it again. I'll go to another month. So this, see, this is kind of in the middle now we're dealing with uh, August. So so this is kind of a little bit on the back end, what the system is, one of, one of the kind of cool features of the system. Now, right now, if we zoom into the solar, the panels are all going to be pretty much on the Western side right here. And so um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you um, how the placement of the panels affects the production. So basically, if this system uh, has the have the panels laid out right here, um, on an annual basis, uh, the system will produce 12,551 kilowatt hours a year. So let's say we moved the panels and we have now some of the panels on the southern side because the southern side really at the end of the day is going to be the ideal location for your solar panels. That you know faces the sun the most directly and that's um, what you'd want. So let's say we had just all southern exposure We'll move that panel there just so it fits. So, so just to remind you before, we had 12,551 kilowatt hours for the year. Now let's press simulate and let's see uh, how having the panels facing south uh, is going to help. So uh, 12,723. So in this case, it does help, but it's actually not drastic. You know, sure, you know, you want the panels, of course, if you can get them on the south, but here, um, it's really not a really not very detrimental to uh, the uh, production at all. Now, what happens though? So west and east are are great. We we when we place the solar panels on your roof, southern is ideal, but west is second best, and east is the third best. And but let's say you didn't have very much space available, and we were actually going to have to put the panels on the north side. So let's see how this affects the production. So once again, 12,723 is the southern exposure. 12,723 is going to drop to 10,224. So now you, you were, we're seeing a pretty significant drop now. So this, this is why you don't want the panels uh, on the north side, unless you can help it. At the end of the day, especially in Southern California, these are still going to give you a, a good bang for your buck in terms of your investment. But um, if you can avoid this, it's better. Now, let me pull up the, the, the sun so I can kind of show you a little bit more about why, especially in the summer or in the winter, the northern side is not ideal. So literally imagine the, the angle of the roof, right? Like if we can zoom in a little bit, the sun, oh, the sun, oh man, I'm sorry. The sun is literally at almost the same angle as the roof itself. So this north facing roof, if you can kind of project it out into space, literally, I'm not even sure if that sun is barely getting over the ridge. So it's not really going to affect the southern facing roofs because in reality, the sun is pretty much still hitting the southern panels, not head on, but it's much, much more head on. But the these, these northern facing panels are just hardly getting any sun in, in the winter time. So, so that's why the, the drastic production drop is 
uh, is occurring. Um, okay, so let's go to one other factor of this software that I'm using, which is pretty cool, um, which has to do with the 3D shade modeling. So as you can see, there's a couple of these um, green blobs um, over here. And these are basically my trees. Now, I actually removed some of these trees before I started this video, just so I could show you um, an unobstructed example. Let's get this sun back up in the middle of the sky so it's nice and bright, perfect. All right, so if I add back in some of these trees, this is gonna give us actually in reality where uh, a little bit more of an accurate production reading because now we're gonna be accounting for real shade that is here. And if we zoom out now after drawing those trees, you can see that now we have a bunch more trees. And even on the satellite imagery right here, you can see some uh, shadows that you know are coming from the, tr the tree here. So um, this is there and we want to account for it because if we simply ignore it, then we are going to give our uh, you, our clients, uh, and not a accurate uh, production. And of course, that is not our goal. We want to be accurate. So um, let's say we put the panels back on the western side, just for example purposes. And um, let's rerun the simulation. So we were in the 12,000 range before. Uh, with the trees here, um, we're actually down to 10,448. And so this is because in the winter time, this tree and some of these big trees are really preventing the direct sun, the direct sunshine. So this actually, this house has quite a bit of trees and it's not very ideal. Um, but at the end of the day, it's still worth it. And it's about finding the best location for the panel. So another trick that I have um, on this software that I use, um, we can actually see the sunniest, most energy uh, parts of your roof. And so we can kind of cheat and have the system tell us where uh, we should put your solar panels. Um, so um, let's see. So the brighter the orange is, is better. And so as you can see, just like in our uh, example, still even after the trees are added in, these southern faces are going to be the brightest yellow. And then of course, these northern faces are going to be the darkest orange so you know obviously you want it to be brighter so um anyways um, i hope this answered some of your questions um panels on the west and the east are fine uh they're great panels on the south are the best panels on the north it's going to depend uh where you are exactly this uh model is in southern california like orange county area and so you know we're, we're pretty south here and so if we're dealing with um, a system that's you know up in like let's say Washington State or New York, right? And then, you know, um, this is maybe going to be even a little bit more drastic, you know, because now you're even, uh, you know, you're higher up um, in the hemisphere. So um, the sunlight is going to be even that worse in your angle of, of heating, um, you know, your direct sunlight angle. So, um, and, and uh, similarly, let's say you're down in Florida. Well, in Florida, you know, you're like so south and so close near the equator that, you know, maybe a northern facing panel isn't quite as drastically uh, lowering your production there because the angle is still good enough. Now, of course, the pitch of your roof matters as well. But, um, you know, these are some things that I'm thinking about when I'm looking at designing your system and kind of coming up with where I think your panels make sense to go. And, um, yeah, so if you have any questions, please reach out. I have a team that I'm building as well. Um, I'm getting so many phone calls nowadays just for my YouTube videos that I can't do everything myself. So I have a full-time assistant and I actually have several different consultants all around the country um, that are specialized in that area. And so please reach out 760-473-5878. I'll help you with uh, your solar needs and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you so much and talk to you soon.